Hi, I am feeling these days a bit under the weather, but I've decided that I'm going to uh, prepare this tutorial to cheer myself up a bit and also to help you, hopefully. I try to make everything really simple, so uh, it is possible that you can follow it if you are an absolute beginner with that type of analysis, but I hope that at the end uh, of the tutorial you will be able to know uh, how to estimate the relative abundance of species using Kraken tool and Bracken. Not only that, but uh, you will be able to generate aggregated table of the relative abundances that are estimated in multiple samples. So, what are the requirements? You will need Linux or um, Windows system uh, for Linux. Um, that you will have installed on your Windows machine. This is what I'm going to use today. Um, also, although Kraken and Bracken are not so computationally costly um, to be run, they still require um, a bit um, of computational resources, such as uh, RAM, that is at least 12 GB for the analysis that we're going to do today, or preferably even 16 uh, GB. Um, what else? So you are going to, of course, need uh, some FastQ paired end reads files. Uh, in our case, um, I have prepared this from subsampling of the same original, very large forward and reverse uh, FastQ files um, using a different. Um, seed number. I have a whole tutorial how one can do that. Um, you can find it in my channel. Uh, but the important thing uh, is that the files that we are going to use, uh, they have the structure as follows. So I'm going to show you now. Um, so we have sample one forward reads and sample one reverse reads. We also have sample two forward reads and sample two reverse reads. So in overall, we only have two samples today that we're going to analyze. And if we want to check the number of lines that each of these FASTQ files contains, you can easily do that with VCL uh, command. So there are 20,000 um, lines in this FASTQ file. Um, which means that there are 5,000 FASTQ reads because we need to divide 20 by 4. Each FASTQ read is represented by four lines. Okay, um, now you will be wondering how you can actually get these uh, FASTQ files. Um, I have prepared a GitHub repository. It's this repository here, which I'm going to link in the description below, and uh, you can get the files that we're going to work with from there. So uh, there are basically all the important input and the output files um, in this uh, repository. I have already deposited them, and you can clone the whole directory, or you can um, download it as a zip file and then unzip it somewhere on your PC or you if you want you can just download the input files and uh, this can easily be done so just clicking on any of the FASTQ files takes a few seconds then click on row this is something new um, that I learned while I was preparing this tutorial I didn't know that one can simply Okay, then we have to copy, once you click the row, uh, the URL link. And then we go back to the working directory. But I don't want to download the file again here, so I'm going to go in a test directory that I have created. And I just want to... Okay. I downloaded it once, so I just removed it. And I am going to show you how to download it at the spot. So just we get and the link that I just copied. 
So you will need to do this step in the working directory that you decided to perform a Krakenton Bracken analysis for all the four files. So at the end, you will need to have these four files downloaded. Uh, you can also check uh, whether they contain what they should contain before you start to run the tutorial. Okay, so we have our uh, input files um, downloaded hopefully by now. So the next thing is to install uh, Krakenton and Bracken. And uh, the best way that we can set up our work is to create Conda environment. So you need to have Anaconda installed already. I have it. And in the GitHub tutorial, um, there are a few steps that are going to help you to set up a Conda environment. Well, we are going to directly install Kraken 2 and Kraken. Okay, so the steps are here. First, you have to make sure that Bioconda channel is added to your Conda because this is from where we're going to query Kraken 2 and Bracken. So this is the command to create the uh, Conda environment, also to download Kraken 2 and Bracken. It can take a few minutes. And the most important step is that you will need to then activate your um, Kraken environment. Okay. The second thing that we will need to obtain before actually running Kraken and Bracken is a database that we are going to compare our uh, FASTQ reads to. Um, there is a, a bunch of databases that have already been prepared and deposited and can be simply downloaded and used when um, Kraken 2 and Bracken analysis are run. So I am going to use this 8 GB kept um, standard database, this RIFSIC database, and it contains the index genomes of the uh, bacterial, viral, plasmid, human, and I think this was known. Uh, vector? Uh, I'm not sure about it, so I need to double check that. But um, this is the database that I've decided I'm going to work with because it's relatively small, but at the same time, it contains quite a lot of things that we may be interested in to know uh, their relative abundance in the two files that we have. So, how you download that? So, we go back again to the um, GitHub repository and the uh, commands that are there. So we need to go out of the working directory that we have, twice actually. <laughs> and uh, you need to make directory that is called Kraken database, but I already have it, so for you going to be the case. I'm going to only CD there. And uh, once I'm into the newly created directory, I can simply we get, and this is the link to this uh, 8 um, gigabytes uh, kept uh, database. So I just uh, get the archived and unzipped file or folder rather. And then I will uh, decompress in an archive. And uh, here you have to be careful because it may take a few minutes for this step to run. Or oh, not so much careful, but rather patient. And let's see what kind of files we get once we um, unzip and the archive uh, the folder with the database. So a bunch of files here. Um, we are going to need the full path to this Kraken database later on in order to run Kraken and Bracken. Uh, that's why I am now um, checking what the full path to this database is. Okay, so we have the input files, we have the Conda environment setup, 
uh, we also have um, the database that we are going to use in order to perform uh, cracking and backing classification and then relative open dense estimation respectively. Um, to run Kraken, it's a very simple command. So you just have to copy and paste the command in the working directory where we have to go back to. So in my case, it was uh, fastq. Sorry. Yes. So we need to go back here in the directory where our fastq files were. And I'm not going to copy and paste the command for running Kraken because my PC is not very um, powerful in terms of computational resources and it takes quite a lot of time to load the database and you actually may encounter the same um, caveat. Uh, but if you're lucky enough to have powerful enough computer, then that's not going to be a problem so you just need to copy and paste the kraken command okay let's go back to the kraken command so you have to specify kraken2 uh, use names then the number of threads depends on how many cpus you have and how many you are using at the moment then this is where you need to specify the full path to the database where we downloaded the files already uh, with the database uh kmer indexes then that is one of the most important comments so uh or arguments so the report so you need to give a name for the kraken report that is going to be uh, generated from analyzing this paired and fast reads and because they are called sample one <laughs> I also decided to call um, the report that is generated as a result of running Kraken sample one. And then uh, we write all of that into another file that is called um, sample one Kraken. So I'm not going to focus much on sample one Kraken uh, because the output of this file is not very informative, it's not human readable but we can quickly have a look at what sample one report file has um, and another thing if everything is fine uh, you should get that kind of output when you are running kraken uh, once the kraken is done um, i'll get back to it in a second Let's see what we have in the Kraken report. So here is the relative abundance of reads that are present um, in this sample. Here is the total number of reads. So not the relative abundance, just the total estimated reads. And um, here you have the um, taxonomic levels. So Unclassified, this is root, um, this is subroot, this is domain, subdomain, phylum, class, order, family, genus. Um, and if I <clears throat> wanted to show you a few more lines, we are going to also get species, uh, etc. Um, so we also have uh, um, the names of the um, different uh, taxa levels here so this is sort of readable format and uh, that's why we also um, prefer to have a look at this and not at the kraken um, file output that also has been uh, generated so i'm going to stop the recording now and i will continue with a continuation <laughs> the second video showing you how to um, run bracket analysis from here